Having to budget additional money for rising gas prices, just another roadblock during the pandemic, especially with the holidays now right around the corner. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo and the Liberty Bank Surprise Squad are doing their part to help people out. It's no secret that gas prices have been going up. So we're here at Winds in Waterbury trying to relieve some of that pressure on people's wallets, surprise squad style. Most people are understandably caught off guard when a stranger approaches them right as they're about to swipe their card at the pump. Are you about to pay for gas? Are you about to get gas? Could you hold off for like a couple seconds? But when the Liberty Bank surprise squad's in town, and we'd like to pay for your fuel up if that's okay with you, the unexpected can be pleasant. Probably not how you thought your morning was gonna start. And we'd like to pay for your gas today if that's all right. Oh, I, that's awesome, thank you. Gas prices are soaring, adding fuel to a fire no one could have expected when you add in a global pandemic. I've definitely been seeing it go up a lot. I'm pissed. I'm weak out on. According to AAA, Connecticut's highest recorded average for a gallon of gas was well over $4 back in 2008. We aren't there yet, but it's catching up. The average price in the state is at $3.52. Just trying to pay for everything, paying for daycare, paying for gas. I live in a budget, you know. It's very hard sometimes. But a funny thing happened when we paid for people's gas. I appreciate it. I mean, it's really nice of you guys. Rather than complain about the high prices, people were quick to reflect on the blessings they already have. Uh, I feel fortunate that I got a good job. And they were willing to share advice for others who are struggling. Just keep looking, just work hard, just keep trying. Thank you again. A free flow of empathy fueling the engine that will get us to better times. Everybody's going through it some way, somehow, so I think that together we can get through this. In Waterbury, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Oh, that is really